certain inflammatory diseases are linked to the malfunction of innate immunity. Inflammation of the stomach in diabetic patients leads to the loss of interstitial cells of call, which is a hallmark of diabetic gastroparesis. NLRP3 inflammasome, a multiprotein complex, mediates macrophages to secrete pro-inflammatory cytokines. Aberrant activation of this complex is linked to inflammatory disorders. Carbon monoxide can negatively regulate NLRP3 activation in macrophages and reverse diabetic gastroparesis. Monocytes differentiate into macrophages, immune cells that can switch between M1 pro-inflammatory macrophages and M2 anti-inflammatory macrophages. There exists a link between inflammatory bowel disease and defects in the transition of monocytes to macrophages. Studies describe that decreasing the M1-M2 ratio is a possible way to treat inflammatory bowel disease. Carbon monoxide can do this by modulating M1 macrophages to M2 macrophages. For these reasons, carbon monoxide has therapeutic potential as an anti-inflammatory agent. Its effects have been shown in animal studies. The methods used in these studies, however, are met with difficulties. Inhaled carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin in the body, leaving very little free carbon monoxide available to act pharmacologically. The same is true for systemically administered carbon monoxide-releasing molecules, which also contain toxic transition metals, raising safety concerns. Researchers at the University of Würzburg have developed a novel gas delivery system, which generates and releases carbon monoxide gas to specific sites of disease. The new technology is an oral membrane-controlled carbon monoxide release system termed O-Cores. The device is in the form of a two-chamber capsule. The first chamber contains a gas-releasing molecule, and the second contains a reaction partner. When the two are mixed, the therapeutic gas is produced. The whole capsule is covered by a semi-permeable membrane, which allows the gas to pass through into the surrounding tissue, leaving the toxic byproducts behind. This technology can be used to treat gastrointestinal inflammation, and the capsule design has been successfully tested in pigs. Results showed that carbon monoxide was released into the target tissue. The capsule itself remained intact during the passage through the gastrointestinal tract, and no systemic increase in carbon monoxide hemoglobin complex was reported. The researchers have developed this technology into multiple embodiments for different medical applications. These include use in transplant medicine, where it can improve the availability and quality of transplant organs. It can be applied transdermally for sports injuries, such as tendinitis, and for extracorporeal resuscitation after cardiac arrest. All these embodiments have been successfully tested in animal experiments. The researchers now plan to move this technology into proof-of-concept studies in humans and help address the unmet clinical needs of many disorders.